Shut up and play your trombone! <laughs> <laughs> I reviewed Paradise PD a few weeks back and shortly after I got bombarded with comments to check out its predecessor, Brickleberry. That's why today we're going to take a look at some of the strange and crazy medical type situations from the show Brickleberry. But if this is your first time watching, like me, Brickleberry is an animated series that follows a group of park rangers as they navigate their way through daily life in the fictional Brickleberry National Park. They encounter a lot of different types of injuries and are often treated with shady medical practices. It should be pretty interesting. Before we get into it, my name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doc that deals with every medical situation that you can think of. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. Yes! Oh. Uh oh, my pucka 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 pie! Oh! Oh! He shot himself! Oh, no! Malloy, call an ambulance! So we got shot in the chest, looks like mid to the right side. Heart is centered to the left, so mostly probably lung and blood vessels on the right side. So let's see what actually the doctor comes up with. Let's see what's Woody, going on. I have good news and bad news and super bad news. Woody, you destroyed your liver. Totally, well, it up. A lot of people get liver injuries and you can actually have a liver transplant. Uh, you can survive with a very small piece of your liver. So let's see what's going on with this. The good news is I have a donor liver right here. Oh, that's great, doc. Organ transplants, you need to be on an organ transplant list. The only really actually thing that matters, if you continue to use alcohol or even drugs that could potentially ruin the organ that you're transplanting, they're not gonna actually offer you a transplanted organ because that can go to somebody who doesn't have any of that stuff. Woody, since we can't find you a liver, you'll be sharing one. Share a liver? Which you can, you can share a liver. What? You would oh, there you go. Moron! Why did you just put me on oh, dialysis? Not that kind of way. What? I tried. Isn't that right, dialysis? Ain't nobody getting on dialysis unless <laughs> they put a ring on it. <laughs> okay, a couple things here just to kind of dissect. You can transplant a piece of it and it'll probably help regenerate actually into a full liver and you can do that. But sharing a liver with a person, I didn't know that they meant by actually attaching somebody to another person, that's hilarious. And dialysis wouldn't work. The fact that the woman's name is dialysis is hilarious, but dialysis is for kidney failure, not liver failure. Congratulations, Denzel. This is your fourth sex-related injury this month. <laughs> it's fourth sex-related injury. Oh my gosh, let's see where this goes. Sleep with old ladies is dangerous. Oh my gosh. You can actually, quote, break your genitalia during sexual intercourse when somebody potentially slams down onto the genitalia, it can kind of bend, but you can totally disfigure it and cause a lot of tissue damage. Denzel, your unnatural attraction to elderly women is a condition called gerontophilia, and it is often fatal. <laughs> gerontophilia, and it's fatal, oh my goodness. Luckily, this condition can be cured by a simple outpatient procedure. Oh. Really? Okay, let's do it. So you're not gonna be able to cure this gentleman has an attraction to older women. That's what happens. Let's get you prepped. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, oh what the heck is that? I, this doctor is just messed up. I love how he just X marks the spot and then just smacks his patient in the head with not only a baseball bat, but a baseball bat with a nail driven right through it. And now it's stuck to the back of his head causing Skull fracture, puncture, straight through, now into the brain. Now for the test. Tammy, Gladys, could you come in here, please? What? Now, Denzel, which do you prefer, nurse or hearse? I now pronounce you cured, Denzel. What? How do you feel? That must be a fireman! That is so messed up! He just called traumatic brain injury, TBI, and now he has brain dysfunction. Man, who wrote this stuff? That is nuts. Doc, do I have the ass cancer? <laughs> so he has a colonoscopy done. So colonoscopies, everybody needs to do. It's a great screening tool to catch colon cancer early. It's pretty much one of the only cancers that we were able to do these types of things besides like breast cancer. Nothing's perfect, but at least we can catch things earlier if we're getting surveillance. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Woody. I found something alarming in there. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he found something alarming and it was an old school alarm. That's pretty funny and it's covered in poop, which is disgusting. Accidentally sat on that. There are no accidents that when you sit on something goes 
into your body like that. This is actually something quite common that comes to the emergency department because people lose things after they sit on them accidentally. Really? These two? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just like to be organized. Oh my I call it bung shui. Bung shui. <laughs> Besides some mild tearing and oh what I gosh. swear was an oompa loompa that I was never quite able to get a hold of, you're all clear. I can't let you drive yourself home. I gave you a bunch of emergency contacts, didn't you call them? Yes, I got four wrong numbers, three hang-ups, and a f my mother. She's been dead for 30 years, what? so that would be difficult. When you get a colonoscopy, you get sedated. You typically won't get fully knocked out, and you have to wait for the medications to get out of your system before they allow you to drive home. Typically, docs won't even let you use like an Uber or a cab. You have to have somebody actually take responsibility for you just to make sure that you're okay. I'm going to have to put you down. Oh, wait, oh. wait, can I just call a cab? No, nope. mm, I never thought of that. Guess I didn't need to put all those people down after all. <laughs> Boy, is my face red. Kidding, I can't feel emotion. Get me out of here. Tommy, shut up and play your trombone. <laughs> I love that he's got some, somebody inside playing the trombone versus his own flatulence or his farting. Back at the medical center. You can expect to go from this hairless freak to this handsome devil. Oh, nice. Grow it all. Ask your doctor if grow it all's right for you. Besides, I was banned from practicing medicine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> It's never good when your doctor says that they're banned from practicing medicine. It means your license was taken away. Is there anything else you can give me? Without hair, I'm nobody. Well, Steve, there is the hair tonic that I use. I purchased it on the Chinese black market. Oh. Or was it the black Chinese market? Going bald and losing your hair is a serious issue. Nobody wants to have no hair on the top of their head. But now he's offering a medication that was found on the black market. Let's see what's going on here. Anyway, it's made with tiger sperm. Tiger now, sperm? remember, friend. I haven't actually done any research to know if tiger sperm will cause hair growth. There are a lot of weird concoctions out there. I don't think it's gonna work, and I think it was supposed to be topical, and now he is drinking it. Once a week, oh, oh yeah. not good. Not good. Lucky for you, I'm also a malpractice attorney. My kind. He's <laughs> a malpractice attorney against himself. What? My roof? Who's gonna pay for all this? I swear to God, you guys will be the death! Oh, stroking out. Definitely don't get a stroke by freezing in the same position that you're at. It all depends where the stroke is. Uh, uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Not normally what we end up doing. Woody, you've had a mini stroke. A mini stroke is like a regular stroke, but Fun sized. By definition, a mini stroke is also called a TIA, a transient ischemic attack. Basically, you're having stroke symptoms, but they resolve on their own within the first 24 hours. Fun sized? Whoa, let's not make light here, Woody. This is serious. Your blood pressure is the highest I've ever seen. Let me just draw some blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's arterial. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. You're not gonna inject into an area you didn't clean. You're using a syringe on the end. You're not using phlebotomy type. And it, the plunger just shot right out because it was high pressured arterial bleeding. Woody, you must cut out every bit of stress in your life or you're going to die. Yeah, so stress can bring on hypertension. Hypertension is elevated blood pressure. Die? What can I do, Doc? Well, do you own a therapy pet? Yeah, but he won't let me pet him. Well then, Woody, I'm afraid your only option is suicide. Oh my suicide? Gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Soothe inside. No. Controlling blood pressure, one, there's medications. Yes, there are ways to reduce stress in your life. Many different ways, but suicide is never the answer to any of these problems. It's a meditation class they offer at the clinic. Do you think I'm some kind of new age fairy <laughs> that's gonna sit around in Indian garb and chant, um, um, I would rather. <laughs> oh darn, another mini stroke. Another Woody, mini -stroke. I'm sure you won't mind if I get a few right. upskirt shots. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Say cheese. <laughs> that's horrible. Taking photos without patient's permission is against the law. You need to ask for permission. Okay, these are funny and entertaining, but totally not appropriate, not socially normal, and very offensive. Do you have a favorite show that features medical situations that you want me to react to? Let me know which show or episodes in the comments below. And if you want to see me react to video games, check me out on Experts React series on Gameology. And as always, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.